Hey guys and welcome, my name's Dale or known as DJ on the forums and this is a new YouTube channel I've just started so that you can follow me along on some of my projects. Now, I've just moved into this new place, I've got some desks here but as you can see, no computer so we need to fix that quick smart. So what I've decided to do is a mini ITX build this time. Now I've called this project Mini Validus which apparently means small and powerful. If that's completely wrong, please let me know in the comments below. So just sit tight, what we're going to do in this video is just go through uh, each component one by one very quickly just a quick overview so you can see how this project's sort of going to look like and uh, then we'll go on to other parts where we're going to do some modification some lighting and, and some other custom work as well so sit tight and let's just have a look at the components hey guys so here we are and this is going to be the main uh, centerpiece of the build I guess you'd say now this is the N case M1 which was uh, thought up on the hard forums and um, basically it went to an Indiegogo which they successfully funded. They've done a V1, this is currently a V2 and they're currently making a V3. Now I'm not exactly the sure of these numbers but it'd be less than 5,000 of these cases definitely that have been made. Um, so this is really the focus. Now it's, it's very small, mini ITX as we know but I have some big plans for this. So we're gonna have some, some custom cutout, some custom lighting, um, dual rads in this thing um, so it's going to be a really exciting project uh, th there's going to be some challenges with the hardware that I've picked which we'll go through so I'll just pop the case to the side but if you're interested in, in a closer look and a, and a full overview of this case certainly let me know in the comments below and I'd be happy to do that so as we just saw the end case M1 is the main focus of this build now for the processor I've gone with a 4790k um, so it's an 1150 socket. So hopefully we'll get some decent um, decent clocks out of the CPU, but we'll just have to wait and see on that. For the motherboard, I've gone with the Z97i Plus, um, a great um, mini ITX board. Um, I kind of wish that they did something like um, the Deluxe or Pro, I think it was the Pro, in the, the Z87, um, just with the higher riser like the Impact. I didn't go with an impact because I didn't like the red colour scheme. We're actually going to be doing some custom paint on this as well. The GPU is probably going to be the most difficult thing to work with. Um, so I've got an Asus Strix 980 in this build. Um, the reason this is going to be difficult is because the card is so high. Um, I've done a little bit of reading and, and people have managed to get it in, but it takes a little bit of work. And hopefully, hopefully we can still get a water block on this. Um, if not, we may have to look at swapping out this card. But I'm sure you'll see that um, unfold as we go on. Now, for the memory, I've got uh, 16 gig of Dominator Platinums. Basically, a lot of this stuff we got, I got in sales off Amazon. Um, very cheap. So this, this was $200 Australian, where it's normally over $300 Australian. So that's why I went with the Dominator Platinums. Uh, the power supply is a Silvertone. SFX 600 watt power supply. Um, there's been some reports of some noise um, from the fan on this particular power supply, so it'll be interesting to see if I have the same trouble. Um, but it, it, it's semi-passive, um, certainly strong enough for all the components in this build and overclocking. I uh, probably could have even snuck away with the full 50, um, but uh, the 600 would come to market, so, you know, why not? Cooling is a H100i just for the moment. Um, it's going to be a progress build, so uh, so I can use the PC um, going on. I've, I've decided to go with a H100. Also, they've gone with a H100 because it's easy to sell um, when I want to. So we might be looking at upgrading to one of the new Fractal Design units for its expandability. So the end case is there. If you've seen, if you're interested in some of the peripherals, um, just. The mouse that I've decided to go with is a Myonix Nail 7000, um, a highly rated optical sensor. Um, so I'm looking forward to using this after using an M65, which I didn't like very much. The keyboard that I've decided to go with is a Ducky Legend. Um, it's a big aluminium plate, LED backlighting. Um, I just like really clean black and white builds, so, so this should fit really well. Uh, the key switches on this are MX Browns. The headset I'm going to be using is a, a, a SteelSeries Wireless H. Um, I I know that that wireless headphones aren't desired, 
because of the, the lack in quality of, of audio that you can get from them. But I find just the lack of cords uh, more convenient for me. I have a set of Shure 535s if I really want to get into some good listening. Um, but I find that the cordless is much more convenient for me. And finally, we've got a Myonix Sargus 900 desk pad. So that should really give good coverage um, of this desk. So I'm looking forward to getting that up there as well. So next I've got for you just a quick time lapse as we're popping the machine together. Uh, basically just making sure there was no DOAs. I'm not putting it into the end case just yet uh, because there's some little mod works that I want to do before we actually get it into the end case. So uh, we'll just assemble it in the test bench, make sure everything's okay. So sit back, enjoy that. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If there's any suggestions, make sure you leave me a comment. And if you've got any questions, feel free to ask. I'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. But thanks for tuning in so far. Um, this is going to be on a new YouTube channel, like I said. I'm Dale, DG on the forums, and this is DG Tech and Hardware. Thanks.